Welcome to Markets on Air with a focus on startups. Campus Factory, the heart of Berlin's startup scene. Located near the remains of the Berlin Wall, Campus Factory is the center of a thriving young industry. Entrepreneurs from all over the world are here. They value Berlin's openness along with its young and well-educated workforce. Companies like SoundCloud took root here. The music streaming site is now estimated to be worth more than $1 billion. Another startup called Zex Wunderkinder was recently acquired by Microsoft for some $200 million. The company created Wunderlist, an app that allows users to make to-do lists. Success stories like these are an inspiration, but the founder of Campus Factory says success doesn't happen overnight. If anything is true for the Berlin startup scene is that it needs time to develop. And it's not like the Valley. We don't have an excess of great founders and an excess of great deals and great potentials. We have too little, so we need more scale. And for that, we need knowledge transfer and proximity. So a real estate project, a campus like this, makes it a lot more probable that uh, the unicorns of tomorrow are coming from here. The campus is growing along with Berlin's startup scene. In the coming years, Campus Factory is set to expand sixfold to 100,000 square meters. That should provide plenty of space for new ideas. A hundred thousand people worked for startup companies in Germany last year. That number is expected to rise by another 50,000 this year. One out of every five employees comes from abroad. Startups generate an increasing number of jobs in Germany. An average startup company creates 17.6 jobs within three years of its founding. Berlin leads in company formation. More people start their own businesses in Berlin than anywhere else in Germany. That's the result of a study by the state-owned KFW Development Bank. The study found that on average, 26 out of every 1,000 Berlin residents start their own business each year. KFW cites Berlin's developed infrastructure and relatively low cost of living as incentives for would-be business owners. Billions for speedy internet connection. The German government wants high-speed surfing available everywhere in the country. And it's pledging nearly 3 billion euros to expand the network over the next three years. The goal is to provide nationwide internet connections with speeds of at least 50 megabits per second by 2018. A new high-speed railway a stylish trade station, and a modern airport. Leipzig is reinventing itself. The DHL Logistics Center, located along the runway, is now the fifth largest freight terminal in Europe. Planes here are allowed to take off and land at night, giving the Leipzig terminal a huge advantage. New roads and business parks are being built around the city. Some 5 billion euros have been spent on infrastructure here since 1989. Leipzig is one of the world's oldest locations for trade fairs, which still take place on a regular basis. From books to cars to games, some 40 trade fairs and 100 conferences are held here every year. Once one of Germany's wealthiest cities, Leipzig is gradually regaining its former glory. Up and coming, Leipzig, a metropolis for startups. Along with major firms, young entrepreneurs choose Leipzig as a business location. People like Immanuel Rebacic and Thomas Kuvac, who belong to the city's thriving startup scene. All the hype about Leipzig shows that it really is an attractive city to live and work in, and it shows there are lots of things to do and experience here. The two have developed a fuel-saving assistant that can be used in any car. If the driver brakes too hard or drives too fast, the stick sends data to a smartphone app. Drivers who follow all the rules are rewarded with a smiley. 
Our product is designed for an international market. I don't think Germany is the only country that's crazy about cars. We just wanted to develop a helpful product that's available to any driver. Startups like theirs are springing up all over Leipzig. The city is young, modern and relatively inexpensive. Tens of thousands of people have moved here in recent years. The city is growing as fast as its startup scene. And that was Markets on Air with a focus on startups.